So here we are filming our second episode of White Shark Media Under the Surface and let me just tell you that it's, a, it's quite the, the demanding project but we have to start somewhere. So here we are starting uh, and we'll do our best. So in today's episode what we're really going to hone in on is our, our product, uh, our fulfillment uh, of the products that we, that we offer our clients. Right now after this little recording we're going to go down and we're going to join a meeting which is a prep meeting for one of our large partners. It's a furniture marketing buying group that really started as a, as a small small client as a part of our agency program and has, has grown into one of our biggest and most important strategic partners so I'm gonna we're gonna go down and quickly have a sneak peek into a, a session where we're gonna be preparing for a meeting later on today with uh, with FMG and then I'm gonna pull out Frank afterwards and we're gonna be talking a little bit about our actual products our actual services and, and, and all of the mechanisms that lies behind the very sustainable and, and successful delivery we believe of, of the products and services that, that we offer to our clients and our agency partners. performance as well in the campaigns. And what, what are we, what is this uh, we're going through here? This what is our at? call audit form. We yeah. go through the form, you know, we do also listen to the calls, you know, we, so that people can hear themselves really and they can hear how they sound, how they communicate and then we go through the form focusing on the areas that we look for and that we want present in the calls yeah. and how we can improve those. Okay, so service or product as well? Or is this the service part of our quality this is process? This service part. Service part of our quality Definitely. process. Definitely. There's no way of lowering the, the volume of... I, cost I would like to believe that there is no there way. way because yes. First of all, uh, this is the full uh, FMG team, right? Yes, we're missing Christian. We're missing Christian. Yes. Yeah, so, so that we sent to yeah. all dealers. Okay. And then what we're suggesting now is to have it as a standalone landing page. Yeah. So we created this in, we created in, this. in their in their brand and image. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. He's settled down now, so we're gonna touch upon that because he already has some some clients in the pipeline. He's onboarded one. He should onboard the second one as well. Um, probably next week, and then he has about five very solid ones for mm -hmm. the next two weeks, and then two or three more that he thinks we're going to be able to close. If we're targeting a local area, if most of the traffic is, is actually coming from in-store, local inventory ads mm -hmm. could solve that issue. Um, we're actually working with Luis to do a, a revamp mm -hmm. of the dashboards, mm -hmm. so we can include them and we can track them. Just came from a meeting. It was a prep session. It was a partner, and I think I also have introduced that a partner called FMG. Uh, it's a furniture marketing buying group. Start by just telling me a little bit about the, the story of that that customer or that agency yeah. partner. Um, so FMG came to us about 10 or 11 months, almost a year now. Um, they were looking for a solution that could really fix a lot of issues they were having with the buying group. The idea with the buying group is that they leverage. All the support together and they can actually get benefits from leveraging they were looking for something that, that they couldn't really find anywhere they were finding certain things with certain agencies but nothing that would work for everyone because it's very custom so we sat down we reviewed you know the group how the retailers work what they expect how it works the relationship between them their current efforts and they also get a lot of support from the furniture brands as well so we we evaluated all of that and then we designed a very custom plan for them to make sure that we could leverage all the products we have the service we have but also that we could hold their hand in in really understanding how to scale the process and how to be able to offer the solution to every member and, and be successful at it. But and I think a great escalation was the trip. We, used, we just were in Las Vegas. Yes. At their yearly, they call it symposium. symposium yes. Their yearly stakeholder meeting, and we actually presented. Yes, yeah. The event that they have every year, this year was in Vegas. I think other years have done it in North Carolina. It's a meeting. They're a big family. It's yeah. actually a really great vibe. Yeah. They meet to review what's happening in the industry and also to evaluate the opportunities they have between yeah. each other. We worked with Michael and Dennis present the FMG digital project, which is the project we do with them. And uh, we got a lot of great feedback because we've been working on a while for that solution to make sure that it really fits into what they need. So it was a great trip. We met a lot of the retailers and we also learned a lot about the industry. Yeah. And um, we're now working in the pipeline. We really 
specialize on PPC. We did some other things in the past. Um, it didn't go too well. We were trying to capture a market that wasn't really ours. We weren't special for that. So we came back and we said, no, let's, let's focus on what we do best. Like Michael mentioned, this is not a cookie cutter solution. We make sure that everything that we do, every ad, every change, every revision is specifically for your business and for your goal as well. Thank you so much, Michael, for having Frank and myself in this event. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot, and it was a really great experience. I just want to wrap up things, um, asking you some questions about how your experience has been with White Shark so far. We feel like this is going to be one of our stronger partnerships as we go forward and one of our stronger member benefits um, for our membership uh, and potentially for our vendors um, as we continue to build this thing up. So we're really excited. So I think what White Shark has been able to come in and do is continue to produce those extremely high level, high quality results, but then offer in the full picture as well. A few of us at FMG, really Michael and I, and then your team at White Shark, okay, we're going to create a new architecture that's going to, to work for White Shark and it's going to work for the number of retailers and it's going to work for FMG. We've seen that the, the tests that we have run have been very successful. Again, thank you guys for coming, and we look forward to the 2020 season. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do want to cover uh, product now, Frank, a little bit more in general. We have a fantastic team. You and I agree on that as well. So, um, I think what we want to clarify is really what what it is that we what it is that we really do here, because White Shark uh, has been through quite a journey. We've existed for 10 years. You have been with us more or less, I think, five years. Yes. You and I both know we went from PPC agency only. And then we tried to become jack of all trades. And then a couple of years ago, we, we sat down and said, hey, 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 let's bring back uh, focus to, uh, to what it is that we're doing here. Let, let's bring focus back into our company. And today we are very highly focused agency and we work with PPC product uh, only. We work with Google Ads products in, in the Google Ads portfolio yeah. and, and, and the Bing Ads portfolio. And, and satisfaction surveys by Google and Microsoft and our customers and in our own surveys we're going up and up and up because we're really sticking to what we know best but we also do that only. So maybe you can you can uh, talk a little bit to that and really elaborate what, what, are, what are the products that we're managing for, for our customers, business, uh, mid-size business, large business franchise or uh, agencies, which is a program that we really launched full on two years ago, which is an agency program that, that caters to, to agencies that want to have uh, AdWords, and Google products and Bing products as, as one of their uh, products in their portfolio in the agency. We went through a phase mm -hmm. where we were testing other products yeah. um, and we were trying to expand our portfolio. I think that has been probably the, the biggest turning point mm -hmm. in the Western media history because when we decided to specialize in what we were best at, it really took us to the next level. And I think that's why we're seeing what we see right now. We focus, like you mentioned, Google and Bing products. Google and Bing have a big portfolio of opportunities. It's not just about your typical search campaigns or shopping campaigns, but we do display, we do YouTube. We now do Waze ads, which is a Google product as well. We do local service ads. We manage Google My Business accounts as well. And with Bing, we do the same thing. We manage search campaigns, shopping campaigns. We do LinkedIn audiences now as well, uh, a Bing product. So we try to find the right solution for our clients and partners based on the portfolio we have. But we definitely stick to what we really are, one of the best agencies in the world, which is the PPC part. For an advertisers, it, it really is about the campaign management for our, for our business and, and the end clients. We manage their campaigns and we act as marketing consultants within their company. So we, we also consult them on the marketing strategy. If they have other channels, even if we don't manage them, we obviously align on the strategy to make sure that everything is making sense. What, what you and I know makes us as strong as we are uh, is, is, is the dedicated focus that we have from, from all of our teams. Because it's not just the campaign manager. Yeah. There's a tech stack, there's training, there's recruiting. Yes. There's all of these components going into it. I think that's really what's under the surface in our company because it's easy for a, a lot of websites, they look beautiful, 
they say they do all these great things and they're world-class champions and, and kung fu masters and different yeah, types of uh, they know all of the marketing tricks in the world but when it really comes to it it's maybe only a couple of guys sitting around in a basement or in an office but but it's only a couple of guys or or maybe someone not even doing it so so there's a lot of and i think i've, I've used that analogy before there's a lot of ferraris looking cars driving around but when you look it's really not a ferrari engine it's a hey what, what's happening here i believe in and you believe that we are actually looking like a ferrari in our engine as well uh, it's a Ferrari engine. The beauty about specializing is that it gave us the opportunity and the time to really dissect our product and really pay attention to the details at every step. Mm -hmm. It starts with recruiting. It's a very important process for us as well in training. The recruiting process, we really look for someone that we know that has the potential to do product the way they should. We have uh, a training process that lasts two months. We actually have a team coming up uh, right around the corner, right? They start in about four days. Four yeah. days, we, we have so many people, six people We have starting, six people. They're yeah. all gonna come in and work on, on, on the product. Right? Yes. We two, two months of training. Yeah. yeah, we keep small classes to make yeah. sure that they all get the right amount of training, that they get access also to the trainers. Once we put them through training and nesting, they join the team, which is probably the highlight of what we do. You know, it's, it's fairly easy to get certified in Google Ads, but going beyond, it's really what makes the difference when you want to talk about service and product. So once they join the floor, they join teams. We have two big teams that are separate in smaller pods. Each pod has a, has a senior strategist that acts as a specialist for the pod. And this allows us to specialize in verticals. This allows us to scale service and make sure that there's always someone available for you. And it also allows everyone to interact in a way where they can actually leverage their experiences. So you don't have some, you don't have 30 people sitting at a table. You have four people sharing their experience on a day-to-day -day basis. That builds strong teams. It helps the senior strategists grow as well and eventually become managers. And it allows the managers to really think strategy and be able to have an overall vision of what we do. And then having that structure is what really allows us to do the product the way we do it. Once we actually start diving into the product, we start from step zero, which is strategy. We actually have a team for it, dedicated just work and build strategies for our clients. It's a, it's a campaign and market research team. They pretty much are experts in most of the big verticals we work with. They spend most of the day researching particular verticals trends and building specific strategies for each client. This guarantees that when we start building a campaign, even if we work with our, our own blueprints and the experience we have, we have a custom strategy for each one. We really take the time to make sure that we give you a... And I think that's important to highlight, right? Because yes. We, we have no templated approach. Of course, we draw from, from the advantages by knowing a vertical and yes. the experience that we have working within a vertical. This is not a this is not a templated approach. Yes, and that's actually been one of our... In the, maybe in the past six months when we revamped the team, one of our strongest products. We do get a lot of requests from, especially on the partner side, to have access to the strategy team because that's one of the biggest flaws that you see around. You can get a specialist to learn how to do the product, but seeing beyond that and understanding the vertical and understanding what goes in the marketing strategy, that's a big one. A lot of agencies love to speak about AI. So we, you and I, we both know that, that a lot of that is smoke and mirrors. And also you and I, we know that, that people are still the main key component to successful yes. online marketing strategies and campaign optimizations and all of that what we're doing is still people yes. you can have it you can have a tech stack which is a great foundation but it's still the people that makes the difference and you know we are probably right now we talked about how many leads that we already or how many requests we have gotten this week from agencies i think we're up at 40 or 30 uh, new agencies requesting our services and what they all come with is, is typically, and that's what we see when we analyze their portfolios and how they've done the campaign management themselves, it's very templated, it's very automated. It's probably the main it is component. The, it is it's, the, it's the magic formula. It is. The, the culture within Washer Media allows us to really leverage the entire team. Whenever we need to tackle a particular issue or we need to tackle a bigger strategy, mm. it, it's very common to see a room full of people that are not maybe even in the same team just sitting down and hearing each other out. It happened in the meeting we had right now, um, earlier today, where we, we had Jen join us. And Jose and I have been working on the FMG project for a while. Jen has been in and out. Yeah. Uh, we're getting her involved more, and she came up with some ideas that we never thought about. Yeah. We never actually thought about and made perfect sense. So yeah. the fact that we do that so often and that we have that culture where everyone can really just assist each other yeah. really puts you with you know 60 highly trained, highly specialized heads 
thinking of how to come up with a solution and, and it works and partners love that as well. The, the fact that the first call we have with a partner is a video call, mm -hmm. they get to see who's on the other side, mm -hmm. they put a face to the team and they actually get to see the whole team because we usually have the call with the whole team. That's already the step one that says, hey, this is the right approach. Now I know you, now, now I know you're there. We have a visit when we travel to visit our partners and we sit down and we just talk face to face about the strategy and how we can just improve performance. They really, they really value how we approach those relationships and they value the fact that people are the main component of the relationship. You have to keep in mind as well that a lot of the agencies we work with, they're still trying to grow. They don't have a consolidated structure, so their needs are beyond PPP. They need someone to help them with the campaign, but they also need someone to consult them on how to scale, how to grow a company, how to pitch their product, how to tackle certain weaknesses and roadblocks. And we've been through that. You know, we've been running for a while. We, 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 we've tried the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. We've been there. But, uh, but that's a lot of the added value that we give as well. Mm. Um, we started, you could say, with pure, you could say, campaign management. And then we really are now branching into, and I think we'll see that also in later episodes of, of On the Surface, we're really going to hone in on our tech stack that we have, but also the one that is uh, on the roadmap that you and I know uh, everything about. Yes. Or reveal that in, in some of the later episodes. We went from being a management company, a service company, to really covering the full spectrum of, of acquisition, CRM, tech, management, proposals. You can say it right now, which I love to say when I speak with, with potential new partners, is they can really just focus on the customer relationship. They value that because especially if they're good at sales and they're good at customer service, they always hit this brick wall where they can't grow. Yeah. They, they have issues juggling. scaling because they're juggling, they're juggling, yes. And that's where we come in and say, okay, let's rethink your product. Let's make sure you're pitching the right product, that you're pitching it the right way. Let's build a roadmap for you to make sure that the scale process makes sense as well so you can grow in a healthy way. So I've worked with, with a lot of agencies and a lot of our partners and, and I've been in the inside day-to-day -day of their operations mm -hmm. and uh, it's hard to find. That's yeah. why I think our product is so good at this point and, and why we've seen so much success yeah. because we really understand what happens inside but we also pay attention to what can improve it yeah. and uh, and it comes with the experience. It took us 10 years. Uh, yes. It took us 10 years. Yes. I would say not even not even two years ago we were up to the standards no. that we wanted, yes. right? I it, took a, it took us 10 years. But once you find the, the magic formula, it, it really is just about the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's been our best year. Best ever. Yes, and we are significantly higher than the median partner. If you pay attention to where you should work, what you should improve, if you hear what your customers are saying, if you pick up the phone and you talk to them and you pay attention to what they need, mm -hmm. um, that's how you get results. And I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, so thank you for all your time. Uh, we'll see you in a, in a later episode for sure. Thank you. Thank Good you very much. <laughs> Good.